So? So. When I decided to become a doctor, I pictured myself saving lives, delivering babies, performing surgery. Then I met you. And my dreams of having a somewhat ordered life went right out the window. Do you like it? Well, it hasn't lacked for excitement, that's for sure. Are you going to help me? Are you kidding me? Chance to break you out of jail? How could I refuse? Good. Well, listen, we've got to move quickly, all right? Because tomorrow they're moving me to the federal penitentiary. Well, there's no time like the present. What, did you, uh, smuggle a piece in or something? No. When I was in med school, I learned about this drug that mimics the symptoms of a serious virus. All right. You'll be so sick that they can't help but transfer you out on a medical emergency. Okay, I can live with that. Once we get to General Hospital, Karen will be waiting for you in the ER. Oh, wait. She'll take over from there. What'd you get my daughter mixed up in this for? What? It's good enough for me, it's good enough for her. Besides, she's thrilled to help. All right, now listen. Listen to me, please. There's a side effect to this drug. No, hallucinations. No. The thing is, is, it only lasts for two hours. So the minute you take this, we've got to get you to General Hospital before it wears off. Now kiss me and make it good. No sweet talk first? Just get over here. to do this, honey. I mean, I, I certainly don't intend to simply hand Serena over to Rex tomorrow morning. Well, at least you can wait till the, the weather clears up. Honey, we uh, don't have that kind of luxury. Gail, I don't know how this underground business works all that much, but well, I guess if it keeps you and Serena safe, you know, Probably better off not knowing. Yes, you are. And so are Serena and I. Okay. Now, how do I contact you? Oh, darling, you can't. What? Well, well I, I, I just mean the minute that we get where we're going, I'll try somehow to get a message to you that Serena and I are safe, but that's... That's all I need. Knowing that's really all I need to know. <laughs> right. And, uh... Well, once you've gone, I'll tell Scott, and I know he's going to be very appreciative. And, uh, oh God, I just want to go with you. I know. I know, sweetheart. But Scott is counting on you. He's counting on you to get, to get that decision of custody reversed. Now, let's see if I don't, don't get disbarred first. Oh, my God. I hadn't even thought of that. I, hey, listen, uh, not all that important anymore. The only important thing is I don't know when I'm going to see you again, and that's tough. Darling, you will see me again. Are you going on a trip? You bet you are. Cool. You're going on a great adventure with your grandma. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Come on, come on! Everybody in this bloody country owns a sport utility, people. Nobody knows how to drive one. Oh, um, it might be just a piece. I'll, I'll get it, darling. Uh, uh, Hello? Hello? Lucy? Lucy, it's me. Don't do it. Speak up, I can't hear you. I'm on my way over there right now. No. Lucy, understand me. 
You will never marry Rex Stanton. Now, I know that you're doing it for Serena, but I don't care. L listen, I am so sorry, but I just can't understand a word you're saying. Could you call back at another time? Damn it, Lucy! Saturday? I will blow this whole thing out of the water if I have to. No, you really, whoever you are, must have the wrong number. Goodbye, don't call again. Yeah, who was that? Um, some wrong number. Well, that's odd. I, I don't get many of those. Ah, well, first time for everything, you know. Um, Rex, I, I was just thinking, I know that we're not having a, a great big wedding. No, that was your choice. But I could certainly remedy that situation with one phone call if you'd like. No, no, no. Oh, gosh, no more phone calls. Um, well, I was just thinking, I am so superstitious, you know, and, and I, I just love all those wedding marriage traditions and... I just realized I, I don't have that. What's that verse, you know, something borrowed, something blue? <laughs> well, now, Lucy, you were the one who wanted to hurry up and get married tonight. Now, if you're having a change of heart, that's perfectly all right. We can postpone the wedding. Really? Of course. Well, that would give you enough time to plan a, a big shindig <laughs> while you could even have Serena as your flower girl. If Serena is going to be here, then we're going to get married now or never. Are you sure? Because this is a very important step. I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure it has to be tonight. Something blue. And I believe I have found something borrowed. This uh, belonged to my mother. She wore it all the time. I uh, gained possession of it the day she died. Oh, no, Rex, really. I, I couldn't possibly. Oh, really. but it would mean a great deal to me to have you wear it. Oh, all right. Then I, I, I guess I'd, I'd be honored. Oh, good. <gasps> used to doing this, so you have to bear with me. Uh, but at least now, I think we have, there we go, fulfilled at least some of the requirements. Now, should we uh, be looking for something new? Oh, no, no, this will do. So, now, all we need is that justice of the peace. Oh, you know, I really thought that he would probably be here by now. What, what do you think could possibly be keeping him? Well, I'm sure it's the storm. When I called him, he uh, was reticent about coming out to, in the first place, but uh, after I offered him a small fortune, he oh. changed his mind. Well, I'm sure he'll be here shortly. Well, you, it really isn't like we have a, a whole church full of people waiting for us, do, do we? No, just you and me, which I am happy to say is how it's going to be for the rest of our lives. Well, yes, and of course, Serena. Oh, yes, we mustn't forget Serena. She's a very important part of this family. <laughs> well, yes, I yeah. consider Serena kind of to be the icing on this whole cake. Oh, I just hope this storm doesn't put an end to all my dreams coming true. What now? Officer, you have to take a detour. Why? What happened? Well, the snow brought down some trees up the road. We're waiting for a bulldozer to clear them away. What's the detour? <sighs> Back up about a mile, take the old mill road, eventually bring it onto this road, about a mile or so further on down. Long way around. Thanks. Let's see, just hold out until I get there. Would you like to sing a song? No. 
I don't like driving in the dark. Why? Why not? These are people that took me away drove at night to where they kept me. Well, I didn't know that. Well, I would certainly never want to scare you. That's okay. You don't scare me, Grandma. I'm glad to hear that. Are you going away because those people came back and they want to take me away again? Um, there are people in Port Charles who don't think that you should live with Grandma and Grandpa. They think you should live with Uncle Rex. I don't like that. I don't either. That's why we're taking this trip. Then I guess I don't mind driving at night after all. <laughs> No, 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 no! Don't throw up. Whatever you do, don't throw up. The longer this stuff stays in your system, the longer it'll work. All right? Now, this is going to imitate the symptoms of a virus, but we need it to stay in your system for as long as possible. Uh, she said this thing lasts a couple of hours. It may vary from person to person. I, I don't know. Haven't you used this before? What do you mean? Like on my last jailbreak? Oh, boy. That's just great. Uh, oh, I... Oh, really? I don't feel... Okay. All right. Okay. You gotta get me out of here. Call the guard. Sick. I don't have to act. Oh. All right. Guard. Guard. Hey, get in here. Something's wrong. What's wrong with it? Oh. I don't know, but you left oh. my medical bag at the front desk. I need it. All well, right. All right. Maybe I should call no. the. No. <laughs> In there, baby, we're about to bust you out. Good, because my room didn't have a mini bar. His temperature's 103. He's dizzy, nauseous, blurred vision. It looks like some sort of infectious virus. What kind of virus? I don't know. I can't tell without doing a workup. Now call an ambulance. The death sergeant has to make that decision. Listen to me, Jocko. If this is what I think it is, it is infectious, all right? Now, the longer you stand around here with your thumb in your ear, the better chance you and your death sergeant have of catching this same thing. Okay. Now make the call. We've got to get him to GH now. Oh. Oh. You're a tough cookie. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Um, I have a patient that might be coming into the ER, and I'm just, I'm just waiting to hear on what, what patient are you expecting? Maybe I can help. No, I don't need your help. Thank you. Julie, wait, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm being so short with you. I think I'm just overworked, you know? Join the club. <laughs> Maybe you think Matt will come back? I heard he's only supposed to be gone a week, but who knows? Nobody even knows where he went. He's usually very dependable. I can't imagine what's so big that he'd just disappear like this. An explosion that big makes very serious wounds. Yeah. Given the amount of shrapnel and debris, you're lucky to be alive. I know. The doctor will be in to see you later. So what about the other men in the hotel room with me? Both dead. You know, if I hadn't left that room a few seconds before, you'd be burying me too. Now hold on, man. Shut up. Me. Shut up. You people screwed up. Now, I don't know for sure who planted that bomb, but I damn well know that your incompetence got two men killed. There's no way I'm going to let you get me killed like that. Oh, shoot, no. What's wrong, Grandma? It looks like we're stuck in the snow. Can we dig it out? No, no, sweetheart. It's very cold outside. Ah, oh, but you know what? Maybe the auto club has some time for us. What's their code? Okay. Oh, hello. Yes, we're 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 caught in this storm out on Highway Two. Uh, you know, about three miles out of town. Uh, excuse me. Three hours. Well, look, I know we're not the only car caught in this storm, but for heaven's. Okay, okay, okay. Are they coming, Grandma? Well, there are a lot of cars that they have to help out before they can get to us. We'll be popsicles by them. Oh, I know. Oh, 
Oh, Lee, please, please pick up. Please pick up. Oh, damn. The machine. Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Serena. It's okay, Grandma. I'm mad, too. How? Oh. Hey, maybe we can call Karen. You know what? That is really a very good idea. Thank you. You're welcome, Grandma. Sixth floor. Oh, Karen. Oh, Karen, thank God. Uh, Serena and I are stuck out here on, on Highway 2, you know, near the Narrows Bridge. Are you all right, Karen? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're fine, but... Wait a minute. Uh, Karen, Karen, the car just died. Could you come? Uh, um, uh, well, I'm on duty. Uh, maybe Julie could cover. It's just that uh, oh, I have to... Karen, I, I hate to ask you this, but could you help us right now? Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh, uh, but Karen, be real careful because the, the, the roads are just horrible. Okay. Okay, fine. <sighs> Eve, where are you? Just have to improvise. They're good at that, I hope. She's on her way. <laughs> oh, it is. I think it is. Are you Joseph of the Peace? Uh, Aren't you coming in? Hello, hello. I'm, I'm Luther Hall. Hello, Luther. Uh, Mr. Hall. Mr. Hall. I'm sorry, I'm so late. This storm's got traffic tight and falls over the stage. Quite all right. We appreciate your coming out in that storm. Oh, uh, you look frozen to the bone. Please warm yourself by the fire. I'll fetch you a brandy. Uh, no. No, you know what I think? I think you should just warm your little self up later. You know, you can have that brandy after we're married. Shall we start? Let's just do it. Uh, just let me take my coat off. <laughs> you two certainly are in a hurry to get married. Oh, uh, well, it, it's just, uh, I'm a worrier. A worrier from way back. And I'm always afraid that something's going to go wrong. And I'm not going to let anything stop us now. <sighs> oh, come on. This is taking forever. Officer, is this the detour? I got on this road back at the roadblock. Treacherous out. He would advise the people if they don't have to be out, they shouldn't be out. Thanks. Trust me, it's a matter of life and death. Uh, you're doing very well, considering what you've been through. Well enough to go home, then? I don't think that'd be a good idea at this time. Wounds of this type have a very high infection rate. Mm -hmm. Yours will need constant attention. I would say I could look after myself, don't you agree? As a professional courtesy, why don't you let me go? Well, the decision isn't mine to make. Well, considering I'm not speaking to the ultimate decision makers anymore, I'm out of here. Where's that ambulance? Come on, I gotta get him out of here. It's stuck in traffic. The roads are jammed all over. I don't want to hear any excuses, all right? This man's fever is spiking. If we don't get him out of here, he's going to cook himself to death. We are doing our best, Doc. I don't think anyone was prepared for this storm. Please, please, can't you see what you can do to speed things up? I'll give it a try. Thank you. Day six, Scott. You're about to check out. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <clears throat> I hope you'll be very happy. Why, uh, thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll hurry home. That storm sounds like it's getting worse. I quite understand. I'll, uh, I'll have my accountant to mail you the check. That will be fine. Uh, Good night, Mr. and Mrs. Stanton. I'll just let myself out. Thank you again. Okay. Tom. Well, now, Mr. and Mrs. Stanton, doesn't that just send a thrill down your spine? Hmm? Um, mm-hmm. Lucy! Lucy! Why, Mrs. Stanton, it seems we have at least one guest after all. But you are a little late for the ceremony, Dr. Collins. Tell me you didn't. Hi, Gail. It's Karen. I think I'm close. Oh, I can't thank you enough for coming all the way out here. Why are you out there in the first place? Well, I, I just couldn't bear the thought of handing Serena over to Rex Stanton, so I decided to take her away uh, on a trip. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll tell you all about it when you, when you get here. I understand. Listen, you tell Serena that her big sis is on the way and tell her that I love her, okay? 
<laughs> I will, I will. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Is that you? Blink your high beams. Oh, okay, hang on. Can you see me? Sunday.